At long last, I am ready to continue the main story in Celasta, Crown of the Magister. I'm here in Kerr Kiflin, ready to continue with the final two gem quests. I don't know if I have to do both of these or just one of these. I don't know. I assume I have to do both of them. I have to either reach the volcano or reach the lava forest. I have chosen the volcano simply because it's a tiny bit closer. The crown is granted a vision of a large volcano in the middle of the Badlands. It will be a long and dangerous journey, but it will probably lead to one of the crown's gems. And that's where we're going. I have completed all of the, uh, the side quests, the, the sort of companion quests that I have in my list. It's day 123 of the campaign. Uh, my characters are level 8, I believe. Yes. Fighter level 8. Cleric level 8. Thief level 8. And wizard level 8. About two-thirds of the way to level 9. I've done some inventory management. I believe I am ready to go. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is go to the, to the gate, which is where? This guy? The major gate officer. And I think the closest place is the dark castle. And I'm hoping that that's already cleared out. I actually don't know where the closest place is. Maybe I should go to Copperan. That's a town. It's, it's really somewhat irritating that I can't see the overland map from inside uh, a real map. I think the Dark Castle is physically the closest place. I'm going to start there, and if I teleport into a combat encounter, then I'll deal with that. Here we go. I feel like if the major gate is open, then I must have, at some previous time, cleared out this area. Um... Oh, yes, yes, I do remember this place now. Yeah, I've been through all this place. Uh, oh. Have I been through this whole place? There's a teleporter. How do I actually get out of here? <laughs> How do I actually leave this place? That is a question I have. Also, it's quite dark, so let's get some torches out. Be light. And Gilda is going to cast light on her staff. Arcana Evo. See you. So, I'm guessing... What? How do I don't know how to get out of here? I literally don't know where I am or how to get out of here. It's been about two years or more since uh, since since I've been to this place, probably. So um, so this is clearly not the right place. You know, I'm thinking I have made a tremendous mistake, and I should actually... Wait, now I'm even more confused. You know what? I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go back to the major gate and pick some place that I actually know <laughs> where it is. And that is Copperan. <laughs> I know where Copperan is. And I know how to get from Copperan to where I'm going. 
It will be a long overland journey from here, but that's fine. It's just time wasted. These major gates are sort of convenient, but they're also not very convenient. In that they're buried in the middle of these these places and you you have to like find your way from the major gate to the actual exit from the map which is a little bit of a challenge sometimes but here we go we are now on the overland map so I am trying to get... Oh, there's the Fortress of the Shield. Okay. So that was a little bit closer. But I am trying to go probably along this road. Or a different road. I don't know which road I'm trying to get to. But I'm going way out here. I'm just going to click on this. And see if it'll just figure out how to travel there. It will take six days at a normal pace. Um... I mean, I'm not in any hurry. So let's just, let's go at a slow pace and make sure we avoid enemies. Gilda does some push-ups and squats. The party starts to rest. The party has failed to complete its long rest. Elisa manages to collect some crafting ingredients. Gilda unfolds a bedroll to set up a nice sleeping spot. Oh, we're going to the Fortress of the Shield again. I definitely could have started from there then. We're passing through the Fortress of the Shield. Edmund starts singing an old song as the party sets up camp. Elisa cooks a nice meal. The party rests. The next day... The party is on the move. The party meets a wandering scholar from Galavan. The day is already over, and they're setting up camp, and Elisa sings an old song. It was a restless night. They could not complete their long rest. Uh-oh, we've encountered orc conquerors. We're going to hide from them because we don't want the distraction. At camp, Ruad starts a game of dice and cleans their shoes. The party had another restless night and failed to complete a long rest. The party meets another wandering scholar from Galavan. Elisa unfolds a bedroll to set up a nice sleeping spot. Ruad plays a game of skill with stones. The next day, the seventh day, Gilda kills a fallow deer. Ruad collects crafting ingredients. They've met a third Wandering Scholar from Galavan. Apparently, this is the trail of Wandering Scholars from Galavan. On day eight, the party did not find any food. The party sets up camp, starts a game of cards, starts a game... Part, starts two different games of cards. And now, we have arrived at the volcano, but we are camping before we enter. On the last day before the volcano, Edmund starts a game of cards. Oh! And we've encountered major earth elementals. Have surprised us. Three quarters of the party is asleep as battle begins. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Well, I hope we know how to fight earth elementals. Major earth elementals. Bestiary updated. Earth Elementals. Is this our first encounter with an Earth Elemental? It might be. We know nothing about them except they're rather large. Um. Okay. Oh, and ghouls. The ghouls charge up. Ghouls! Well, we know what to do with ghouls. We can just do a... Ruad's just gonna do a, a turn undead. Uh, game's frozen up. 
Probably doing an autosave, I imagine. Yep, there we go. That was an autosave. Autosaves always freeze up my game for some reason. Saves in general. I don't know why. So Ruad is up. He is going to use... Uh... Why do I not have my turn undead action? Available. Why don't I have my turn undead? Oh, that's the bonus action. Let's do... Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so as my main action, I will do turn undead. Which I'm hoping is going to take care of these two ghouls. Channels divinity. It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything at all for the scar. Oh, scarn ghouls are small elementals. They're not undead. Oh, gay. I see now. I see my mistake now. Uh. <laughs> well, hell. Um. Well, Ruad's gonna switch to his shield. Because I feel like he's probably going to get beat up on this turn. Can, uh, can my characters wake up, please? The, a ghoul attacks Elisa, misses. Oh, damn. A ghoul... What? How is a 14 a critical hit on Elisa? Okay, we're just getting beat up here. Okay, Shake uh, it off. Edmund, you wanna you wanna get up now? Are you awake now that you've been hit in the face by some some <laughs> some elementals? Uh, okay. Wow. I'm looking for some kind of um. Oh, okay. So Gilda's gonna cast haste on... Wow, Edmund's half dead already. Gonna cast haste on Edmund. Oh man, that's all she can do. She's just gonna stand there and get hit. Uh, Elisa wakes up. She is going to attack a Skarn Ghoul. Anything we can do with these? No. Ah! Misses! Oh, man. We are off to a terrible start in this combat. And this story continuation. Things could not be going any worse. Okay, I'm going to switch back to my crossbow because I'm going to cast a spell. I need a good spell to cast here. Luckily, I have a revivify because somebody's probably going to die. Hypnotic pattern. Is that going to work? On... Okay, let's see if we can... I don't know if this is going to work on them, though. Can we get three of them? I don't think we can get more than two at a time here. Um, I think I want these two that are threatening my wizard and cleric. So I'm going to try to do a hypnotic pattern on one elemental and a scarn ghoul. I have a feeling they're going to be immune to this. Oh, hell yeah. They are both charmed by hypnosis. Awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, can I use a power? No, I'm not going to use a power. So he's concentrating on that. That's awesome. That worked so much better than I hoped it would. Okay, Edmund is going to do... I think a... 
bonus action second wind to recover 11 hit points and now he's just going to swing at the Skarn Ghoul here. Well struck. That's a hit for 15. Second attack. Only hits for 8. Ah, oh, bummer. Can I use any actions? Wait, I have a third attack because I'm hasted. Oh, hell yeah. Missed. I will miss next time. Bummer. Uh, oh, damn. Action surge? Action surge? Yes, I'm doing an action surge. First attack. Miss! Oh, my God. Edmund, what are you doing? Take that. Uh, yes. The second attack hits for 20 and the Scar and Ghoul is dead. Okay, awesome. Charm. One Scar and Ghoul tries to knock Elisa down but misses. Swings at Elisa but misses. The Elemental swings at Edmund but misses. Swings again and misses. Whew. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so Elisa is going to cast a, uh, just a plain old firebolt at the Skarn Ghoul that's attacking Elisa. Arcana Evo Malmis. Nice move! Wow, 22 fire damage. They are vulnerable to fire. Really? That is good to know. Elisa will also strike with her rapier at the Skarn Ghoul. That's that a sneak hurt. attack hit for 24 points of damage, I think. And that Skarn Ghoul is dead. That's the end of her turn. Ruad is up. He is going to... Let's see. These two are charmed, so he's going to uh, cast a guiding bolt at the other earth elemental that's not charmed Arun Evo Malmis misses complete whiff on that guiding bolt oh i should have healed edmund uh, oh well whatever edmund will unleash on the earth elemental first attack Hits for only 9 points of damage. Second attack. Hits you for have them now. only 11 points of damage. Third attack from haste. Misses completely. Fourth attack. Bonus action Warhammer attack. Hits for 9 points of damage. Wow. That was 4 attacks and didn't do a whole lot of damage. <laughs> the other elemental is still charmed, but the one that's not charmed swings back at Edmund. First attack misses, but the second one hits for 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Gilda is going to cast a fire flaming sphere. I haven't used a flaming sphere before, so... Oh, okay, no, that's going to be a concentration loss, so never mind. Firebolt. Although, if they're more vulnerable to fire, then the haste is not really helping us as much as fire damage. She's going to do a flame bolt on the earth elemental. Only four points of damage. All right, well, that didn't really do very much, so never mind about the fire damage. These guys are going to take a while to bring down. Uh, I guess Elisa is just going to stab the Earth Elemental. She'll get sneak attack. Perfect. But it was only 11 points of damage total. Yikes. Man, it's going to take a while to bring this guy down. I'm glad we uh, charmed these other ones. Uh, Ruad. He's going to try another <laughs> Guiding Bolt, I guess. 
on this earth elemental. Arun, Evo, Malmis. Another miss. <laughs> Ruad, you are so bad with the guiding bolts. Well, Edmund's just gonna start swinging. Not much else he can do. Oh, that's a good hit for uh, uh, 17 points of damage. Second attack. Damn. Misses. Hasted attack. Hits for another 17 points of damage. Bonus action, Warhammer attack. Critical hit for 13 bludgeoning damage. All right, now we're whittling this guy down. He's mostly dead. The other one's still charmed. Oh god, the earth elemental just slammed Edmund for 14 damage. He's still... He's hurt, but he's not dead yet. Uh, Gilda's gonna cast a... What? Let's do a Blight. I haven't used Blight before, so let's see if Blight works on this Earth Elemental. Arcana Necro Virus. Oh, damn. That was 16 points of necrotic damage. And, oh, he made his save, though, so that was half damage, I guess. Man, that would have been devastating if he hadn't made his save. Okay, that's a good spell. Uh, Elisa is just going to do an attack. A sneak attack, resisting piercing damage. So it's only nine points of damage. Earth Elemental's almost dead, but not quite. You know, actually, uh, she's gonna do a cunning action disengage. And she is going to jump up here. Hopefully out of melee range with both of those guys. Uh, Ruad at this point, there's not much point in doing another guiding bolt, so he's just gonna attack the earth elemental the crossbow. Once more, we prevail. Amazingly kills it with 10 points of uh, total damage. Seven radiant did most of the work there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do a bonus action healing word at fourth level on Edmund. Arun, Evo, Cure. Cure does 15 points of healing. And now Edmund will move over here into position. First, he's going to strike this charmed Skarn Ghoul. Total of 16 damage, second attack. You'll die like the rest. 11 damage, third attack. He's dead. One Earth Elemental remaining. Uh, Edmund's gonna move up. Make sure he's next to him. He's not gonna attack yet because I want to give these two a chance to move out of the way while they're while he's charmed. Gilda's gonna move far, far away. Um, and that's it. Uh, Elisa's gonna switch uh, weapons and end her turn. Ruad is going to step backwards out of range and uh, now I think we can safely cast let's try to do a guiding bolt on this fire uh, earth elemental yeah. <clears throat> you know actually no I want to make sure Edmund goes first I don't know what his turn order is let's look Oh, Edmund goes next, so awesome. Okay, so cast Guiding Bolt. I was afraid the Earth Elemental would run up and start attacking Ruad instead of Edmund. Arun, Evo, Malmis. Next time. Another miss. 
Guiding Bolt is possibly the worst spell that Ruad has ever encountered in his entire career. I feel like I've cast it, like the last seven times I've cast it, I've missed six of the seven times. <laughs> okay, Edmund unleashes on the Earth Elemental. First attack misses, second attack. Second attack misses, third attack from haste. Third attack finally hits for 21 points of damage. Bonus action, Warhammer. Misses, so missed three out of the four attacks. Good job, Edmund. Earth Elemental strikes back with a slam, misses. Ooh. You're still in the fight, my friend. The second slam hits him hard. Uh, Gilda is up. She's gonna cast. Let's try that blight thing again. Oh, I think she's got to get a little closer. Um, casting blight. Ah, oh, they succeeded their save. Still 19 points of damage. Elisa, from up above, fires down. You like it? That's a sneak attack hit for 19 points of damage. Oh, are they not resistant? Huh, they didn't resist the piercing damage. I don't think. Huh, interesting. Uh, Ruad actually is going to run up closer and cast a Cure Wounds at uh, level 4 again on Edmund. Arun, Evo, cure. 21 points of damage healed. He's also going to use his bonus action Soothing Hand on Edmund for another 8 points of healing. And now, Edmund unleashes on the Earth Elemental. Last time, he missed three out of four attacks. What will he do this time? A hit. First attack hits for 11. Second attack. Hits for nine. Third attack from haste. Hits. Fine stroke. Critical hit for 23 points of damage. Bonus action, Warhammer attack. <laughs> Hits for 9 bludgeoning. That Earth Elemental is almost rubble. It strikes back, but misses. A second slam. Critical miss. And now Gilda will simply cast a Firebolt. Arcana Evo. Malmis. I'll get you yet! It was a miss, but still did six fire damage. Elisa is probably gonna get the killing blow here. Fires down from up above. But misses! The fight goes on. Ruad, uh... Uh, what can Ruad do? He could cast... Burning Hands. Can I get... Can I do a burning hands without getting Edmund? I think so. Let's try it. Arun, Evo, Malmis. Failed their deck save, but they only took eight points of damage. <laughs> the Earth Elemental clinging to life. A sliver of life remains. Edmund is gonna finish this guy off for sure. I win again. 12 points of damage, and the Earth Elemental is down, and the surprise attack is over. What did we learn about Earth Elementals? 126 hit points. Darn. Seas in the dark. That's all we know. What's the deal with these Skarn Ghouls? They're annoying. We don't know their vulnerabilities. Well, we do know they are vulnerable to fire. We learned that, even if it's not listed here. Okay, well that was a success. A successful random encounter. Let's 
continue our long rest. And after that, now we can finally... Oh, now we have to rest again. Ruad prays at camp. The party starts to rest. The party failed to complete a long rest. Um... I hope that doesn't mean we're starting this volcano adventure with, like, half dead. This is the worst place we've been so far. Indeed. The smell here is awful. We're deep in the Badlands, sure. But there is a gem around here. You never know. Remember the gem of abjuration? The crown's signal was just a decoy to find Kithaela. Look, is that an orc totem? <laughs> Stinks of sulfur. Um, well, here we are. And we are indeed half dead. So we did not complete a rest. Well, let's start with a short rest then. That seems rather unfair to begin the adventure uh, with uh, down hit points and spells. Going to do an arcane recovery and get... Uh, I guess I'll get a fourth level back. Um... Yeah, how do we... how do we, like... How is it possible that I started the adventure hurt? That really seems unfair. <laughs> Yeah, there's some gold over here. And a mace. Uh, okay, where do we actually go? There's the volcano exterior. Whoa, how do we get up there? I'm gonna see if Edmund can make his way up here to this. Nope, no path to destination. That looks like a flying situation. Edmund's gonna do a little bit of scouting here. Hmm, here's a rock that we can push down. <laughs> or push up, I should say. And another rock we can push down. <clears throat> and a flower. A dwarven primrose. Just what we needed. I don't, I actually have no idea what a dwarven primrose is. <laughs> This thing up here looks important, but it looks like the only way we're, only way we're going to get that is by flying at the moment. Unless maybe Elisa can do some acrobatics or something to get up there. Good jump. Yeah. Whoa, no, 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 no. I'm trying to go up here. Okay. Uh, I think we have to do, like, layers or something. Nope. Nope, 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 
no, everything's bad, everything's awful. Stop, stop what you're doing. How do we get over here? There's no way to jump over there, apparently. Okay, well, it's not... Not working, I guess. Never mind. Come back, Elisa. Guess we're not getting whatever that is. So the question is, where do we go from here? I think Edmund's just gonna do some exploration to figure out where to go. There's another, there's another mining ore here. Mining node, I mean. Primordial lava stones. Edmund has all the strength, that's why I have him running and jumping all over the place here. Okay, this looks like a path forward. And it looks like we might be close to an encounter. Alright, so I'm gonna have everybody come over here if they can make it. <coughs> Gilda? Artistic note. Not much. Somebody fell. Elisa took some damage. Oh, Elisa fell in the lava and took 18 fire damage. Oh, jeez. Oh, this doesn't look good. Carnage. On the battlefield. And a survivor. An orc woman? Let's think about this. What's the risk here? She's alone and wounded. She's a shaman. She could cast a spell on us. Maybe she knows something about the gem. To be honest, I'd like to know what happened here. Who killed all these orcs? You... Healed me. Why not kill me? Uh, Gilda's gonna speak in Orcish. Nyak Ami Anda. A Nyak who speaks Orc? Gabra like to know your story. But this is not time for that. My people, all dead. Arak did that. Arok is a Red Scar tribe shaman. Powerful. But so powerful, I not know. Other orcs did this? Many tribes in the Cradle of Fire always fighting. Arok always ambitious. But now Arok has power of fire. New power? You said Arok was more powerful than you thought? A rock came to Sun Cloud, told a shift and broke to bend the knee. Brock said no. A rock burned. Everyone took Brock prisoner. Huge balls of fire from his hands. Many, many flames. Never seen Oak Shaman so powerful. A rock said he found power in Cradle of Fire, Heart of Mountain. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A rock found the gem of evocation. Many fireballs. Our gems don't do that. In any case, we need to find this Brock. Hmm. Help us to find Arak. Agreed. We go into Volcano. Maybe find Brock alive. Ooh, 200 XP. 
You have learned that an orc shaman called Erok recently gained immense magical powers, possibly re- possibly granted by the gem you're looking for. Explore the caves until you find this Erok, and possibly the gem that you seek. Brock, the chieftain of the Suncloud tribe, is Erok's prisoner. He may be somewhere in the market area, on display as a trophy of war. Save him, and win Kebra's trust. I thought we already did win her trust. She's part of the party now. Um. Alright, so we have some loot here to check out. Gold. I'm taking all your gold. And rations. There's a broken box over here. Oh, wow. A plus one quarter staff. Oh, that reminds me. I got one of those. Uh, a brother letter and a scroll of detect good and evil. Let's check out this brother letter. His name was Thuriel Duskfall. A childhood disease left him deaf and disfigured. He found his sole purpose in life from fishing in the streams at night. Silent and at peace, he was not judged when alone and in the dark. Thus he developed a skill that gave him value in the eyes of the Sylvan Elves, who otherwise viewed him as imperfect and damaged. He was also my brother. I covered his body with a cairn of stones on the riverbank where I found it. They had taken his rod and his fish, the bracelet he had from our father, his filleting knife, everything. So I tracked them. They were many and arrogant, but I had little else to do and all the time in the world. Four died before they learned to leave guards at night. Two more before they learned to make sure the guards were sober. Six of them slept together in a tent. I slit the throats of the three largest and left the rest to their sweet dreams. By the time they made Port Harrow, where they were telling stories of the hordes of night witches who descended upon them from the haunted boughs of Colt Hannon, drinking the blood of their friends and depopulating entire villages. More died there, where they mistakenly believed the crowds would give them safety. An envoy from my people came, asking me to stop. I indicated that I would do so the day my brother came back to life. I have not done so. Stranger, if you find this scroll by the cairn by the river, I ask that you leave it be and say a prayer for the soul of my brother. Stranger, if you find this scroll by the cairn by the river and disturb the cairn or take the scroll, know that I will find you. They call me Night Plague. Uh... Uh, uh, I wish I'd known that before <laughs> I took everything from the crate. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that stuff back now. <laughs> How do I know which one's which, though? And there was a scroll of detect good and evil. I'm gonna put all that back. <laughs> Is it all, did I get it all back right? Okay. Okay, Night Plague. I didn't really need that stuff anyway because I actually technically already have a quarterstaff plus one. <laughs> which I forgot to put in Gilda's hands. Not that she ever attacks with it. You know, I actually I have some other magic stuff that I haven't really looked at. I got half plate. Wait, can Ruad wear half plate? What is he? He's wearing scale mail. Oh, we want to give... Yeah, let's give him that half plate. Uh, 
uh, what is his AC? His current AC is 14. With the half plate, it becomes 16. Noise. And we also have studded leather. I don't think anybody can wear that. Elise, is, I think, is already wearing... Oh, she's wearing leather armor. So we can give her an upgrade. Her AC is 17. With studded leather, it becomes... 18! And she has a new look. And so does Ruad. Okay. Just distributing some items there that I forgot that I had. Uh, is anything else here? This looks like a little dead end here. Let's loot this crate. Is it safe to loot this one without incurring the wrath of Night Plague? Alright, I think we're ready to go inside, although I think we are going to take a short rest before we do that. Because Elisa took some damage. Falling in the lava. Two hit dice recovered, and that is good enough. Alright, I think we'll uh, continue this in the next video.